Welcome to Leaxcode. In this episode, we're going to be creating a multi guile Nitro Boost detection system. We're also going to be sending the member a thank you message privately, and we're going to be creating a custom thank you canvas that we will be attaching to our embed that we're going to be sending to the guile system channel to let everyone know that that member had boosted the server. Let's go ahead and start out. We're going to be using our event handler that we created previously. If you want to watch that video, click on the card up to the right of your screen, and you should be good to go. Now, let's go ahead to our events folder and we're going to create a new folder and we're going to call it detection inside of it we're going to be create a new file and we're going to call it uh, boost thing.js and now here we're going to require a couple of uh, objects uh, from the discord.js package we're going to require let's open a const and um, actually let's require first so we, it can get auto completed so we're going to require discord.js we're going to be requiring the guide member object the message embed and last but not least the message attachment and then we're gonna go ahead and install the canvas so let's go to the terminal and type npm i canvas and that should download canvas for you i already have it downloaded so i don't need to uh, to do that all right so now here we're gonna require canvas so const canvas equal to require canvas now we're gonna model export the name of the event is obviously going to be guide member update because that's the only way that we can figure out if a member just started boosting a server uh, because discord doesn't provide the support for or doesn't have the boosting event all right uh, now we're gonna uh, execute we're gonna execute old member and new member this might be different for you if you're using a different handler and then here we're gonna require our parameters uh, guide member for the old member and guide member for the new member um, all right so first of all we need to grab the guide object from the new member so we're gonna tap const guide equal to new member and now here we're gonna be starting out with creating our canvas so um, we need to create a canvas that is 800 by 250 pixels uh, and to do that you type const canvas with the lowercase c because we required canvas with the uppercase c so we're gonna type canvas equals to um can sorry with the capital c canvas dot and here we're gonna specify create canvas and here we're gonna provide the uh, the actual uh, pixels or the amount of pixels so 800 by 250. all right so we're gonna go down one more time and we're gonna create the context so we can edit so type const ctx equals to canvas dot get contest uh, and it's going to be in 2d so now that we have created our canvas 800 by 250 and uh, we assigned the context to it to be 2d uh, we're gonna grab a background so i went ahead and created a background like you see in front of your screen and i'm gonna link it down in the description if you want to use it if you don't want to use it you can uh, have whatever you want but uh, all right so we can import the the image into this file we're gonna go to head to our structures and we're gonna create a new folder and we're gonna call it images we're gonna be storing images that we're gonna be using throughout the, the bot development in this folder so i'm gonna go ahead and drag that message where is it i mean that image to the image folder just like this all right so canvas the, uh, like um, globe doesn't read from the actual file that it's in it reads directly free directly from the parent uh, folder which is tkf in this case so we're gonna type const background equals to await and to use await we need to async otherwise we cannot use await so async execute and here we're gonna await canvas we're gonna load the image and here we're gonna provide the path for the image in this case let's see it from the bot's perspective it's inside of the structures so let's go ahead and type dot slash uh, structures and if if you don't want to type a lot you can just copy paste the names and now if you open the structures the image is inside of a folder called images so we're gonna copy the name of images type slash images and let's change the image name to be booster whatever and we'll copy the image name and type slash booster.png and now that we have loaded our image into the canvas 
uh, we're gonna stretch the image to be the to the size of the canvas that we created so let's say you upload an image that is uh, smaller than its size or bigger than its size then we're gonna stretch it or corp it to be in in the same size as the canvas so to do that we're gonna type ctx to get the context ctx uh, dot um, draw image here we're gonna provide the background and now zero zero and we're gonna provide a canvas dot width and then canvas dot height just like that now we have loaded our background and we stretched it to be the same as the canvas um, canvas uh, size all right so now we're gonna um, to add more to the image so it can be more vibrant we're gonna be adding like a stroke to the image like you see on your screen um, so we will do that with the pink color because our image is going to be pink colored. You can customize this how much as much as you want. So we're going to type ctx dot stroke uh, style, and the stroke style is going to be let's see. We're going to provide the color ID, and the color ID, as far as I remember, uh, remember is. Let me look it up actually on my phone. All right, it's nine b five nine b six. This is for the pink color. You can get whatever color you want. It's uh, hex colors. Uh, all right, now we're gonna create a stroke. So ctx dot uh, stroke rect and uh, rectangle, basically we're creating a rectangular stroke. So zero, zero. Basically it's gonna start from the beginning and uh, from the, so the sides and the beginnings. And then here we're gonna provide the canvas dot uh, width and then canvas dot height all right so um, now we're going to be placing uh, the name of the booster to the canvas so we're going to be basically uh, whoever boosted the server let's say i boosted the server we're going to be placing my name like you see in front of you in the uh, image my name in the middle uh, below that that uh, booster logo so we're going to tap we're, we're going to first of all specify the font so we can tap ctx.font and it's going to be equals to uh, let's see for example, 38 pixels, you can have as many pixels as you want, just as long as it's not too small or too too big. And the font that we're going to be using is going to be called cur uh, Cursive. That's how we call it. Uh, and by the way, let's add this uh, uh, columns so we can add the lines. Uh, all right, so now here we're going to see the X dot text align. So we're going to align the text to be in the center. So center. And then we're gonna fill the style, so ctx dot fill style, and it's gonna be uh, whatever. For example, hashtag f f f f f f. I think that's how many f's you need to have to be white. Uh, and now here we're gonna ctx dot fill text, and here we're gonna provide the text. So for example, in this case, gonna be um, a new member dot member uh, sorry new member dot uh, display name just like this we're gonna get the display name of the member uh, and then we're gonna be putting a comma and we're gonna be typing canvas dot width divided by two and then canvas dot let's see here dot height divided by two or actually one 1.2 because 2 is going to place it on top of the logo and 1.2 is going to place it just under it all right so now we're going to go down a couple of lines now we have we have created the text uh, we're going to grab the avatar of that member so const avatar equals await and uh, here we're going to canvas dot load image we're going to load the image uh, like just we did with the background but now with the with the avatar of that member and um, to load it, basic type interaction, not interaction, it's not a command, a new member dot user dot display URL. And um, we can assign the format to be GP, not JPEG, just like this. And that should be it for loading the image or the avatar. And uh, now we're gonna basically make the the avatar circular so it's not a triangle or whatever so we're gonna begin uh, begin path so we're gonna basically like dj specified it to be we're gonna pick up the pen so ctx ctx dot begin path all right 
and uh, now we're going to create the arc uh, to start the arc from the circle basically so ctx dot uh, arc just like this and now here we're going to type to 125 125 and then 100 0 and then we're going to be using the math dot pi so we can make a circle times 2 otherwise it's going to be half circle because pi is 3.14 whatever and it's going to be true and now we're going to close the path so close the path just like this and now here we're going to clip so ctx dot clip so we're going to clip the image to be the the, the region that uh, we drew in so clip and now we're going to draw it so ctx dot draw uh, image just like this we're going to provide the avatar and then 25 25 200 and 200 for the best looking uh, circle basically or placement uh, all right so now to be able to attach that image to the embed that we're going to be sending um, we need to create a, a message attachment attachment which we required from the message attachment over here uh, so we're going to type const attachment equals new message attachment and uh, here we're going to type canvas dot to buffer and the name of the image so we're going to be specifying the name of the image i'm going to set it to be posted dot png it doesn't matter what you set it to be as long as it's going to be dot png or whatever and now we're going to be creating our embed so const um let's say thank you or wherever you can name it whatever you want you message embed sorry embed and we're going to be setting the embed color to be purple for example and then we're going to be setting the author uh, sorry do not add a column here so we're going to be setting the author to be guild.name and we're going to uh, or actually let's type uh, server boosted and then here we can provide the guild icon url set it to be dynamic and set the size to be size of it to be whatever you want and then uh, we're gonna go down and we're gonna type if old member all right uh, how to cut it off sorry uh, so now that we have created our embed so to optimize this file a little bit we don't want it because what's happening is whenever the guild member update is is happening whenever that emit, uh, event is emitted the bot will run this whole file but we don't want it to be like that because not on every event emitted is going to be a server boost maybe somebody's updating the profile picture or whatever so what we're going to do we're going to add an if statement so we're going to check if the member actually boosted the server then we're going to run this code and if they haven't then we just run nothing so that we have created our embed here let's crop it all right and place it under the 12th line just like this and what we're gonna be doing now we're gonna type so we're gonna check so if exclamation mark old member dot premium sense so premium sense if you didn't or if you haven't boosted the server it's gonna return null but if you have boosted the server it's gonna return a date which is true so we're gonna be using that to determine if the member has boosted the server so and or sorry uh, and a new member dot premium sense so if the old member didn't have premium or boosted and uh, but the new member uh, boosted so the old member is the the the, the object of the member before updating their profile or whatever and the new member is the updated one then we're going to be running this code and then here we're going to paste all of this basically so let's copy from here down to here and paste it here all right so now that it's a little bit more optimized which we like our code to be uh, we can continue coding our embed so we're gonna go down and uh, and here we're gonna type uh, thank you dot set description and here we're gonna type uh, thank you for boosting the server and uh, we're gonna go down one more line and here we're gonna type thank you dot set image so we're gonna set the image uh, of the canvas and here we're gonna type um, let's see here attachment uh, 
two dots slash booster dot png the same name that we provided here with our buffer all right so now we're gonna go down one more line and here we're gonna uh, because it's gonna be a multi guild um, system or multi guild detection system then we need to have something that every uh, or a channel that every server must have um, and that's gonna be basically the the system channel the channel where whenever a member joins uh, uh, discord sends a message or whenever somebody boosts uh, boosts the discord sends a message so that's the channel is called uh, system channel so we're gonna type guild dot system or sorry uh, it's gonna be called i think it's system yeah system channel uh, uh, here we're gonna type dot send and we're gonna send the embed so thank you embed and then the files we're gonna be sending the uh, the canvas image so let's type here inside of an array we're gonna provide the attachment that we created over here and uh, that should be it for the uh, thank you message basically we're gonna send an embed like you see on your screen right now saying thank you for boosting the server whatever but now if you want to send a message to that member uh, to tell them basically thank you for boosting our server uh, you can go down here and we can type a new member dot send uh, and by the way if if there an error that will happen we're gonna catch it over here so dot uh, uh, catch we can catch the error and then we're gonna console dot log the error because sometimes that channel doesn't even exist and the server in that uh, in that specific reason the server doesn't have any channel at all so new member dot send uh, embed uh, so we're gonna wait let's await this because we're gonna be changing the description um, so let's copy this and type and paste it here and we're gonna say thank you for boosting the server your support is much appreciated for example you can customize the message as, as much as you want and then here we're gonna type response uh, sorry not respond thank you we haven't created a response embed so um, that should be it basically so whenever uh, a guild member update happens the boat is gonna shake if um, uh, if basically a member uh, became a booster we can we can uh, create the, uh, the canvas we're gonna get the booster image and we're gonna make a pink stroke or whatever and um, we're gonna center the text and um, yeah this should be it and here we're sending the message for the uh, to the to the booster thanking them for the boost and here we're sending a message to the system channel for example if you go to our discord uh, our system channel is this channel so uh, yeah so this should be basically it you can customize it as much as you want this is just like most of my episodes this is just a template that you can use to improve on uh, and if you encounter any errors um, just hop in the discord and we will help you out uh, thank you guys for watching i hope to see you in the next episode